This video will be showing you how to use Kira. Kira is a simple model of a computer called a Turing machine, which decides its actions based on its internal state and the nearby objects it can sense in its world. Here is Kira's world. Kara, the ladybug, obeys a string of actions, in blue. Move ahead, turn left, turn right, drop a clover, or pick up a clover. The dimensions for Kara's world can be changed. Right now, let's make it one-dimensional for simplicity. This also reflects Alan Turing's original Turing machine. Here, I have placed clovers in a tree stump in Kara's world. Let's make Kara run through each square and pick up all the clovers on the way. Kara can't walk into stumps, so it should stop just before it reaches the tree. Kara will use sensors to determine if there is a clover to be picked up and if there is a tree just ahead. To give Kara instructions, hit Programming at the top left, and you'll see a window where you can define states and rules. A state is a circle which you can think of as what Kara remembers. For example, we'll use two states, the run state, when Kara has not yet seen a tree ahead, and the stop state, when Kara has sensed a tree ahead, so it knows its task is done. The stop state is already here. Click on the new state to name the new run state, and select the sensors Kara will need, the clover sensor and the tree sensor. Why these two? It is an error if Kara tries to pick up a clover when there is none there, or if Kara crashes into a tree. Within each state, we make rules that select Kara's actions depending on what her sensors say. If there is no clover and no tree ahead, Kara can just move ahead, remaining in the run state. If there is a clover and still no tree, Kara can pick up the clover, move ahead, and remain in the run state. If there is a tree ahead, then we just go to the stop state. And that is all. The stop state doesn't need rules because Kara just stops. The only thing left is to tell Kara in which state to start. Because we want Kara to run until it sees a tree, we start in the run state. And as you can see, the program isn't running because I forgot to add the move forward command at the top. So let me just add that real quick. Now we hit play, Kara follows instructions, and picks up all clovers. Did you notice that this program is flawed? It will not correctly handle all inputs. Can you see why? Let's change this world to put a last clover right next to the tree. If you play the program again, Kara picks up all the clovers except for the last. To fix this, we need two rules when there is a tree ahead. One if Kara is on a clover, and one not. So here I made a second mistake and added a pickup clover command at the bottom. The reason why the program will run because the string will not be read for this particular input. The program will run into an error however, if there is no clover right next to the tree. Just be sure to catch these little mistakes as you uh, work on your own exercises. Now the same rules handle all versions of Kara's world. If you click on the exercises in the upper left, you'll see a drop-down menu with many exercises, prepared worlds, and solutions of varying quality. The first exercise is a slight modification of what we just did. We want Kara not only to pick up clovers on squares that have them, but to drop clovers on squares that are empty. You should be able to modify Kara's rules to do this. You may want to try other exercises, for the assignment, you'll program Kara to make a checkerboard pattern, one of the medium exercises. The solutions in Kara don't handle all board sizes, you can probably create a better solution on your own. You can either assume Kara starts in a particular corner or have Kara find a corner to start in. Kara uses Boolean logic, sets, sequences, functions, and graphs, all topics that we will define formally in Comp 280.